And joining me now is William Watson. He's a retired professor of economics at McGill University and columnist for the National Post of Canada, for which he wrote this piece called Cancel Putin, Not Russia. Professor, tonight, by pure coincidence, I'm going to see the Washington Capitals play ice hockey. When Alex Ovechkin comes out on the ice, what am I supposed to do? Well, I don't like the Capitals, so I hope you boo. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a typical Republicans buy sneakers, too. You know, I, I think there are calculated reasons why sports figures don't want to become political. And, and they're just personal reasons. They're not very political. Some of them, they concentrate on a slap shot or hitting the curveball. Those are hard things to do. And maybe they don't want to be interested in politics as well. So I kind of favor the idea that sports figures are sports figures and they stay out of politics. It's kind of annoying when they let us know their real, uh, political preferences of one kind or another. If they have been active in the past, it's kind of convenient that they fall silent at a, at a bad time when they're um, heroes or uh, people they voted for in the past, if they have the opportunity to vote, uh, are doing things that are wrong. And uh, uh, But I think these are individual choices, and I don't like the idea that people have to step up and make a loyalty oath and say, I do condemn Putin. For, for a natural born Canadian living in Canada, it's very easy to say, I condemn Putin. For somebody who has family in Russia, uh, is Russian, uh, has a long history there, that takes a little bit of courage, I think. Here's what you wrote in part. Piling on can be exhilarating, but it's important to try to retain a sense of fair play. Not all Russian expatriates are oligarchs, and maybe not all oligarchs are crooks whose gains were necessarily ill-gotten or, as Joe Biden put it in his State of the Union speech, more biblically, ill-begotten. So how would you define it? Give me the standard by which you think we should be looking at these individuals. Well, you know, we're a rule of law society. Uh, the British government, uh, from what I read in the British press, is very eager to go after the oligarchs and seize as much property as they can. The problem they're having is that lawyers within the British government say, well, you know, they haven't officially done anything wrong. Their crime may have been to steal Russian wealth 30 years ago, but within Britain, they're not breaking any laws. So I think we have to maintain ourselves as a rule of law society Putin's the guy who's breaking the law. Uh, if people, if Russian citizens in, in operating in North America or around the world don't want to comment, I don't think we have to force them to. On the other hand, we're perfectly free to say, well, you're not going to sing for us this season, even though uh, uh, the singer in question has appeared at the Met 192 times, uh, I read. Can't the market decide this? I mean, you're a former economics professor. Well, why not well, yeah. just sing? And if, if you're offended by that, then don't buy a ticket. Don't buy a ticket? You know, if you're running an opera, you're probably worried that there are going to be demonstrations. I sound a little bit like a university now. We can't invite this unpopular speaker because there may be demonstrations and that'll be expensive. Well, you know, you have to decide. Uh, uh, her argument is... Uh, she provides art. She tries to bring people together. That's what art uh, does. It expresses people's humanity to each other. And uh, in the furtherance of art, you might want to let her sing. But that's, you know, it's, it's a private decision. You make that decision. You should be sure, though, uh, that you're not uh, engaging in an act of cowardice. You're just keeping your head below the, below the parapet because uh, the, the mood right now is that anybody who says anything nice about uh, Russia uh, it, it's been a, it's a cancel culture phenomenon. You're going to get hit too. So just be sure that you're uh, certain of your conviction and it's coming from a good place and not a bad place. Professor Watson, thank you so much. I appreciate your being here. My pleasure, Michael. Thanks for asking me.